What's up, Cup of Tears? This is Christina J. Back at it with another video. So I apologize for not uploading a video last week and the week before that. And honestly, the week before that. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. And that is because, well, the whole quarantine situation has really been dampening my mood and my creative process is just not really there anymore. And since I'm moving between houses and stuff, it's just really hard to bring all my makeup and all my setup and my lights and everything all the way from here to there and back. And it's just a struggle. So I apologize for that. Hopefully I'll be back on a regular schedule, if not sometime soon. I don't know what's gonna happen from now on, but it's okay. I have a video for you guys today and that's all I have to say about that. So for today's video, we're gonna do a full face of drugstore makeup. I know a lot of people are either getting into makeup or don't have a lot of money and are interested in makeup. So I just wanted to do low budget makeup items for an entire face. If you wanna learn how to do your full face makeup using drugstore makeup products, then please keep watching the video. <laughs> I have is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I like this item a lot because normally I use two different primers but with this one it's so sticky and it helps my pores so it kind of combines what I want my primers to do from my two primers into one. I have to say the one thing that I'm still on the fence about for this item is I don't know if I like the application process. I have to really put my fingers into the product and put it all over my face and it just gets really messy and all my fingertips and everything. So I don't know if I really like that, but we'll see. Next up is foundation. This is a new foundation that I am playing with today and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation foundation it has a bunch of words on it but i'm just gonna call it the infallible pro matte foundation and i don't know if this is the sh shade my shade or not but we're just gonna try it and hope for the best another one that i like a lot is the maybelline fit me foundation but since you guys already seen that on my channel i decided i want to venture out and try a new one and i heard very good things about this foundation First off, I would just like to say I normally don't go for foundations like this where you have to squeeze it out of the bottle. I usually like pumps because then you can really know how much you're getting out. It's just really hard to decide how much you want to squeeze out of the bottle and put onto your face. But for the foundation, I actually really liked it. I really loved how much coverage it gave me and I also loved how easy it was to apply and blend out. It was also really easy to apply and I really like the consistency and the formula of this product so I'm really happy with this product so far I wish I got a better shade but it's fine we're just gonna ignore it and overall I really like this product obviously I didn't wear it all day so we don't know about longevity all right so it is a little bit darker than I expected but it's fine we're just gonna ignore it. It is like 2, 2.30 a.m. So just forgive me, I'm gonna wash it off anyways. Pretend that you don't see it, okay? It'll be our little secret. So for concealer, it's gonna be the Maybelline Instant Age Remind Concealer. I've actually been using this concealer for a while now. It's just never made an appearance on my channel, so. Here it goes. This product is up there for one of my favorite concealers. I just love how easy it is to apply, easy it is to blend, and it's just easy to use overall. So definitely a great beginner product. Now that I have my concealer on, I'm gonna go in and contour. This is actually a new step in my makeup process. So I've been trying it out for the past couple of days and it's working pretty well. So let's see how it goes. So uh, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Mega, Mega Glow Makeup Stick 
it's the contour and this is what it looks like i used to use this mega glow makeup sticks a lot i just stopped using them whenever i had more money to afford better quality makeup but i recently just picked this up and it worked really well so i just take this product and put it all in the places that i normally bronze my face and i just do that in the hollows of my cheeks as well as my forehead underneath my chin to give it more of a chiseled doll look and on the bridges of my nose so what i like to do is blend out my concealer first and then i blend out the darker parts i really like using a concealer and then a contour stick just to make it more creamy your skin looks really really creamy and natural after this so i just really like using this combination and obviously you can go back in with the bronzer later but uh, like i'm gonna do but this is just like a really natural way to do your contouring and i also really love this formula because it's so easy to blend and so natural on your skin and it's just one of my favorite products honestly this is a great product for beginners because if you want to experience with contouring and you don't really want like a really harsh contour this is just the perfect amount of contour for it to be there but not really there and now to set all of this in place i like to go in with my Rimmel stay matte this is actually the powder not the loose powder but just the regular powder so what i like to do is just take a sponge like a round sponge and put it into this like this and then just put it all over my face you can also use a brush but i just like using this i would recommend using this when you are beginning your makeup because this is so much easier to use rather than a loose powder and it does the same thing and you just kind of put it all over your face especially in the areas that will crease now that i have powdered my face it is time to move on to brows so for my brows i like to go in with covergirl's brow pencil i've used these multiple times before i just really loved how this works so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and i'm back and my eyebrows are on and it is time to move on to the rest of the eyes so for my eyes today, I have this little eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. It's the Bite Size Eyeshadow Carnival Candy. I was attracted to this because it was all over social media. I wanted to do something that's relatively simple for people who are new to makeup. So I like getting little quads like this because you don't really have to do much regarding to thinking of what look you want to do. It's kind of all laid out here. I chose this one because it had like a really interesting pop of color, which I normally don't gravitate towards. So that's why I chose this one for today. I was saying earlier, this one is really self-explanatory. I think that because um, usually in these quads, there's a transition color, an inner corner highlight, a darkening color, and a lid color, and it's all like this. Usually this will be used as the inner corner highlight, but it's not shiny enough for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these two together for my transition color. So if you're starting off with makeup and you're confused on what a transition color is, it is basically a color that is really close to your skin tone, maybe a little darker. Usually people gravitate towards browns and what you want to do is put that all over your crease and in the outer corner. Alright, so that is on my lid. Now I'm going to go in with this darker mauve brownie red i don't know this color right here and deepen up the outer crease so for this part of my makeup process i like to really take a denser brush than what i was using before which was more of a loose brush and just really pack this product onto the outer corners of my eyes to give my eyes a little bit more dimension and to make the look more interesting. So I'm just taking that and really trying to blend it from the out to in. 
and it really doesn't matter if you aren't placing it exactly where you want it because you can always use that first brush that I use and just really blend it together so that it's nice and even on both sides. Now I'm going to go in with my finger into this blue shade right here and put it across my lid. So I like using my finger because it gives off more of the product payment um, to my lids and also you don't have to clean another brush but um, you just kind of slide it all over wherever you want. This product did take a little longer to slide than most other eyeshadows that I've been playing with so keep that in mind. Now this part is optional, I just don't like the line that kind of forms between my blues and my natural colors. So I'm just taking that brush that I was using earlier and just really trying to blend it together using circle emotions so that there isn't any harsh lines. This is, again, totally optional. And now for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two male colors together and drag it down there. You want to do this step because you don't want a lot of products on your top of your eyes and nothing on the bottom so in order to balance out your entire eye you just do this step because most people do it so that is the finished eyeshadow look i just really love little little quads like these because they're just so simple to use especially for beginners and you always get like a really good look after and you just it's so straightforward and I love using it. You can also use it without the lid color or you can just mix and match the colors. And uh, it's just so many different possibilities with just four simple colors. And for my eyeliner today, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liner. I've used this before, I think, on this channel. I'm not sure. But I've used it before and I liked it, so I'm going to be using it in this video. So my eyeliner is done and I just added like a little edge thing to the inner corners to make it more snatched. It just makes it look better. So yeah, that's a little trick for you guys if you want your eyeliner to look a little bit better. You just draw a little bit of an extension from your eye and the inner corner. For my mascara today, I couldn't really find one that I thoroughly enjoyed because mascara has always been an iffy topic for me since my lashes are so small. But I'm just going to be using my Maybelline New York Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And for my lashes, I'm going to be using the Kiss Teddy Lashes. And this is what they look like. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so my lashes are on and this is a very dramatic look for 3 a.m. in the morning now. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna keep going. So the next step is bronzer. So I already contoured but I just wanted to add a little extra step and use a bronzer to kind of bronze up the cheeks even more. For my bronzer today, I'm going to be using this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've been hearing a lot about this for, and everybody loves how well it performs on their skin. So I'm really excited to give this a try today. I would like to say that this step is totally optional because if you are good with your contour, then you can just go out with contour on. But this bronzer just brings a little extra warmth and depth to my face, so that's why I like to add contour on top of- I mean my bronzer on top of my contour. And I really love the Physicians Formula bronzer. So you kind of just take a fluffy brush and then a small brush and put it in the hollows of your cheeks as well as the jawline, forehead, and the nose. And for my blush today, I usually use my Milani Core Clove brush, but today I'm wanting to try out something different. It's also by Milani. This is the Pressed Powder Blush. So I've been using it for a couple days now and I just really like how it applies because the formula is just a little bit different, but it's just so much creamier and better looking on my skin. So I've been loving it. Just a quick tip before I get on to the next part, always use upward strokes when applying brush. Another thing that I like to do is take a brush and blend out my bronzer as well as my blush because I don't like the rigidness between them. And for my highlight today, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild highlight. It is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So I'm going to be putting this in the highest points of my cheeks, my nose, and also in the brow bone. 
and I got to say that I was really impressed by this highlight because normally I really really love like blinding highlights but this is just so good especially for the price and I just mm, in love and for the finishing touch of this look, I'm going to be using lipstick. I went ahead and got a new one. This is the Maybelline Nearly There. So this is just a few shades off from my Maybelline Nude Lust, which you guys know is my favorite lipstick of all time. So we're going to see how this one performs. there's like a little sheen to it but yes and for my finishing finishing touch I'm gonna be using this seal the deal long-lasting setting spray by flower and that guys is the finished look for today if you enjoyed watching this video using my drugstore makeup products, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Also comment down below for future video ideas and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my makeup furniture. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!